Gamers have been looking for variety in their hardware selection, especially in the GPU market in mobile devices, where Nvidia has the hefty chunk of the pie. Here's a device that is entirely powered by AMD, which looks to shake up the status quo and show consumers that there are options outside Team Green. The MSI Delta 15 has a sleek aluminum chassis that looks exceptional, replacing the gaming aggressiveness with a rectangular body and low-key branding. The lid has an eagle badge in the upper right corner, which is glossy and looks luxurious. Despite carrying a Ryzen 7 5800H and an RX 6700M, the laptop weighs only 1.9 kg and has a profile of just 19 mm. The base has a large grille, which is used for ventilation, with the cooling sitting directly behind it. We have a keyboard with no numpad, a backlight, and large keycaps. However, the key travel is short and the feedback is a bit mushy, which isn't the best for gaming. The touchpad has a small size, but the surface is smooth and delivers a satisfying click. The laptop has four USB 3.2 generation 2 ports, 2 Type-A, and 2 Type-C. There's also an HDMI 2.0 port, and a 3.5mm audio jack. We would have loved to see an Ethernet port since you might want a hardwired connection if you play competitively. There are two FHD IPS panels to choose from, with either a 144Hz or a 240Hz refresh rate. We tested the 240Hz option since the RX 6700M can sustain high FPS at 1080p in most games. The panel is not only good for gaming, thanks to its 8 milliseconds response time, but has awesome creator capabilities, offering near full sRGB coverage and fantastic accuracy when paired with our design and gaming profile. The screen uses PWM but only up to 82 nits, which is okay. But would the 240Hz refresh rate hurt the battery? It has a rather big capacity of 82 Watt hours and delivers great battery life, given the display type and the powerful components. Our tests show 11 hours and 30 minutes of web browsing, or 10 hours and 30 minutes of video playback, on a single charge. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. The pairing of the Ryzen 7 5800H and the RX 6700M is ideal for gaming, as despite being last-gen, Zen 3 CPUs can still deliver good performance for creator work. The AMD GPU performs close to the RTX 3070 in gaming, however, AMD doesn't have the encoding and rendering features that NVIDIA has, which is helpful if you want to dabble in video editing, VFX, or animation. Despite the more portable body, the laptop fits five heat pipes, with two thin ones for the CPU, two thicker ones for the GPU, and one more for the VRM and GPU memory. The setup doesn't do the Ryzen 7 5800H any justice, as the CPU hardly goes above its base clock speed of 3.2 GHz. The GPU reaches 86 degrees Celsius, but also runs at speeds way above 2 GHz. The temperature can be felt on the outside, as the hotspot of the base nearly reaches 55 degrees Celsius. While the laptop's already apart, let's see its upgradability. The laptop offers two SODIMM slots and two M.2 slots for upgrades, however, they are rather difficult to access, since in addition to the 13 Phillips head screws, you have to remove the motherboard as well. The cooling and the slots are on the other side. You can check out our detailed teardown video, which shows exactly what to do. The MSI Delta 15 can be a fantastic device for gamers while providing a content creation-ready display. However, AMD GPUs haven't been great for productivity, while the cooling can use some help, as the hardware generates excessive heat, which can be felt on the keyboard. Generally, we think that MSI had a raw gem in its hands, but they just didn't do a good enough job polishing it. With that said, 
The Asus TUF Gaming A15F A507 is a better option in our view. Of course, we've done a lot more tests and you can check out all the results in our in-depth review on LaptopMedia.com. You'll find the link in the description below the video.